Hi everyone, my name is Eric Figueroa and this video I'm going to talk about keto substitutes. The thing with the ketogenic diet is that when people begin with a ketogenic diet, they often feel deprived or they cannot consume their favorite food, nor their favorite desserts. But I have news for you. There is a way. What are the ways? Well, the thing with the keto substitute is that, for example, for a pizza, since it's high on carbs, I recommend the cauliflower pizza. Also, people create their own pizza but while using almond flour. That's great too. Me personally, I've made a cauliflower pizza. It's delicious. In my personal opinion, it is the most healthiest pizza in the world. Eventually, I'll make a video about how to make your own cauliflower pizza, so stay tuned for that. As for milk, I recommend the almond milk and coconut milk because those are low sugar and no sugar. I also recommend that it's also organic. As for pasta, I recommend the zucchini pasta. And there's actually low carb pasta, such as the palmini pasta and livia pasta. The thing with these types of low carb pastas is that it is difficult to find in grocery stores. But I do recommend sprouts and whole foods because those carry it. As for our marinara sauce, just keep in mind that if you are going to consume with marinara sauce, just make sure that it's low carb because marinara sauce, for example, a half a cup of marinara sauce contains 9 grams of carbohydrates. So just make sure you order the one that has the least. As far as for mashed potatoes, I recommend the cauliflower smashed. I've tried it before, I've made it before, it's delicious. I put chives in it and butter and mozzarella cheese really good. As for rice, I recommend the cauliflower rice. And people buy with bags of cauliflower rice or they make it. And it, right now it's actually very popular nowadays. It's carried in some restaurants. I know they have it in Pollo Loco and Chipotle. Really good. Um, as for sugar, I recommend the erythritol, the monk fruit, the stevia, and the zolotol. Even though zolotol has low glycemic, the thing with Zolotol is that you don't want to consume too much because it could spike up your blood sugars just a little bit. But Erythritol is really good because it's zero glycemic and I've tried it before especially with keto recipes. Um, as for flour, I recommend the almond flour and the coconut flour. I know people use almond flour for the pizza or for battering a chicken and I know they use it for keto desserts like making the keto crust. And the thing is that I've made uh, keto pie such as pecan pie and pumpkin pie very delicious and eventually I'll post a video about how to make your own keto pie delicious I highly recommend it. There is also keto substitutes like for example for a burger you could order a lettuce wrap burger as opposed to the bun. As for a taco I know nowadays they have the low carb tortillas I recommend it as well. What I like to do is that I like to use the tortilla as an egg. And same with the burrito. Really good. I highly recommend it. So these are few keto substitutes that I came up with that are the most common. And the thing, another thing is alcohol. So what about alcohol? It is a very difficult substitute, but I do recommend kombucha tea. I've never tried it before personally, but if you tried it, that's great. Just make sure that it's a low sugar or no sugar at all. And also, if there is a specific food that you're trying to find a keto substitute, please comment the link below. I really appreciate that. And also, if you haven't done so, please subscribe to my YouTube channel, Figure Out Health. I greatly appreciate all the love and support. So thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video.